Hi, everyone. Rob with Shop Prop Realty. Remember, our goal is to get you smarter on when you're buying and selling property. So when you're buying a property, the question becomes is that if I've removed all my contingencies, I'm doing my final walkthrough, can the seller deliver that property to me in any way they wish? In other words, I buy it and something happens between the time I put in the offer and the time of closing. So a couple of questions to take a look at is that Number one, the answer is no on the surface. They have to deliver the property to you in the same condition it was when you purchased the property. So the question is, is that, is it in the same condition as when they purchase, when you purchased the property, when you put that offer in? Obviously, if you've done an inspection and then you've requested some repairs, it would have to be in the condition of when you purchased the property plus the repairs that were done. But let's say you go to closing and you're the day before closing, like our client right he, uh, yesterday, and you see something like this. Oh, yeah, we had our client share, and the seller actually disclosed this crack in the TDS. It was in the reports. But the question becomes is that now this is it was raining. This is in California. It now is raining, and this was unknown to our client. We didn't see the leak, right? The client didn't, the seller didn't disclose it. And in all fairness to the seller, the seller hadn't lived in the property. This was a rental. So they didn't, they didn't know about it. But the question becomes is that does it now that everybody knows about it, is it a new disclosable item? And so a leak like that would have to be discussed, obviously, with the uh, set with the other agent, you would have to discuss it with them. And it becomes a it becomes a spot of negotiation for sure. For example, with this particular leak, we negotiated an additional ten thousand dollar credit the day before closing for our client. And what, does the seller have to agree to that? No. But does does the seller want to close their property the day before closing? Of course. And if a seller is realistic about it, and should they have known about that, even if they didn't know about it, the question is, there's some, there's a new issue there that no, no one knew about it. There's going to be most of the time some opportunity to negotiate because it hit the level of, hey, it wasn't like that when we put in the purchase. It wasn't disclosed this leak by you. And now there's this new item here that has occurred between now and closing. Again, what, what a couple of things could you, let's say the seller says, hey, I don't want to do anything for you, forget it. Could the buyer maybe not close? There is an opportunity for even that to happen. You'd want to talk about that with your agent at the time. But there's a, again, there's a, a usually an opportunity to negotiate. The seller say, sees this uh, issue, uh, even if they didn't know about it prior, you haven't closed yet. So is an issue before closing. Uh, in, in that situation, like I said, for example, it got our client an additional $10,000 credit. So when you're walking through, if you're doing your final walkthrough and there's those items that meet that level of the seller, that the seller should have disclosed it or something happened between the time you purchased the property to the time you're getting ready to close and it's a new item then that's something that you should discuss with your agent and they should discuss it with the listing agent and potentially try to get a credit for you. Hope that helps.